Uh, welcome back to SciTench, where you're going to find uh, all you need to know about life and work of a civil engineer. In today's video, guys, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to overlay the drawings using the blue beam, and uh, I'm going to overlay the drainage drawing over the foundation drawing, and then uh, we're going to take some uh, higher level drawing and we're going to overlay them as well, and we're going to look for any discrepancy. So let's go. I'm going to start from the foundation drawing here, guys. Uh, you've probably seen that before if you watch my videos, uh, but this is a pile cap layout. Uh, the drawing is called foundation. Obviously, we want to make sure this is the latest version, construction issue, and all that stuff I showed before. And I'm going to show you now uh, how to overlay it. I got a nice uh, drainage drawing here as well. Uh, I have to admit that the drainage drawing is actually quite uh, all right, and there's a uh, full information here. Uh, what I like about this, guys, you can see here uh, the designer showed us where the pipe is going to be going actually through our structural concrete. So this is a very good thing, guys, as this is the worst thing uh, which might happen while we're going to be doing the pile caps. We can miss uh, this pipe, and this is a uh, quite big problem later to rectify it. So that's the first thing. And obviously, guys, just to remind you, uh, once we're going to be doing the groundworks and the drainage, we need these three drawings all the time with us. Foundation drawing, which is the, the, the main thing uh, here about the concrete, but at the same time, uh, we need the drainage drawing as well to see well, the pipe is going to be doing and when we have to install some piping uh, while constructing the, the pile caps. And then the basement drawing as well, it's very important. Uh, we need a column position for the starter bars and then we can get some other information here as well. We actually have uh, information to the pile cap position, I think, on this drawing as well. So uh, that's another one why we have to use it. So what I'm going to do, guys, uh, I'm going to just overlay the drainage drawing over the foundation drawing and I'm going to show you how to use it now uh, using the blue beam. So you're going to go to the documents here and uh, there's an overlay page. You're going to ask us about the colors of the foundation. So we can foundation, we can go for maybe I'm going to use some other color, maybe light blue. And I'm going to press OK. And for the drainage, I actually use the red color for the drainage. I want to see it clearly on the drawing. I'm going to press OK. So we got a foundation and drainage. The drawings I'm going to overlay. We can obviously add another one here, uh, but uh, I think this is well enough. We're going to see how it's looking. It's probably going to be too much information anyway, but uh, we can zoom later in and out, whatever we need, and uh, have a look. So the most important thing, guys, you want to make sure this is going to be overlaid correctly. So you're going to press align points. And for this, obviously, uh, I'm going to press OK here. And uh, I'm going to use uh, the grid lines, the crossing of the grid lines. So I'm going to press one here, uh, which is grid line A10 AS. I'm probably going to go one on the back here. Uh, this is AS A17. And I want to go one at the bottom here, one on top here, when it clearly going to catch that point I want. So I'm going to press, this is point number three. Once I press it, I'm just moved to my uh, drainage drawing, which I'm going to be overlaying. And I'm going to be choosing the three points uh, I want to align. So I got the, the first one was this one here. So that was the grid line. Uh, uh, oh, it's not here, but that's that's the one. Uh, that was the second one in here. And then uh, the third one was uh, down here, uh, which was this one. So I'm, I'm going to press it here. Uh, you see the blue beam is asking me actually if it's OK. So yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm going to press OK and we're going to have a look at how we're going to be looking with a drainage overlaid on our pile cap layout. So that's how the drawing is looking here, guys. Uh, you can see uh, I put the red uh, as a drainage information. You can see we got some some walls and some other information was on the drainage drawing. So that's why it's looking like this. But then in light blue, we got our uh, information about the pile layout. So we can see here, this is all matching nice. And then uh, we can have a look at the drainage. And as you can see here now on one drawing, we got information that the PC4, PC3, so what pile cuts go in where. And at the same time, we got the drainage information here, guys. One other thing I want to show you here, what I'm sometimes using as well, uh, instead of overlaying the drawings like that, which is a very good thing, guys. You can see yourself uh, how useful it is. Uh, we're going to actually overlay one more drawing uh, later and uh, we're going to be raising R5, but that's going to be in the next video. So uh, I'm going to just go back to the foundation here, guys. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly uh, what I'm doing myself sometimes. I'm just using the snapshot here, which is G. I showed that before, uh, but we just press uh, G for it. And uh, I'm going to just I'm going to go from these grid lines. Uh, I'm actually trying to have two points so I can refer myself as this is not going to be easy. It's not like overlaying. It's not lining. So I'm going to press here maybe and press and hold and go wherever you want really. And I'm going to go to here. Uh, please just catch it. Yeah, I got it here. And I'm going to just go control C, just copy, typical copy. And I'm going to go back to my foundation so using control V now to paste it in here. And uh, my point, my first point was here. So that was the crossing of these grid lines. 
and my second point uh, I think it was somewhere here probably a crossing of this too but as you can see now it's not gonna be perfect so that's why overlaying uh, gonna gets you to the perfect position of the drawing but sometimes I'm using it myself just to have a look at the true drawing it's well enough if you want to have a look what you got in here so uh, there's a small small discrepancies here but just to give you the the, the rough idea where the drawing is gonna be going and obviously I just take only this part here but you can you can just uh, snapshot all the drawing and do it so guys uh, what i'm going to do now quickly i just overlay maybe one more drawing here i'm going to show you the four floor uh, level slab and this is going to be quite useful as well when you're going to be doing the rc frames as you're going to be the one responsible for uh, setting out the penetration and you're going to make sure this is right and uh, what i'm going to do now i'm going to bring the mna drawing on this one and uh, we're going to see how we're looking with the with the penetration mark on this drawing so let's again go to the to the overlay pages and uh, what I got here, foundation for flow. No, I don't need foundation, so I can delete it. Uh, I can add the drawing here, whatever I need. So yeah, I got it here, M and E. Uh, I'm gonna press OK. And uh, the red one slab. Yeah, we can leave it like that. I leave the. Maybe I can even change it for the blue color here. So you're gonna see this in blue. And then align points, guys. So that's exactly same story here. Uh, I'm gonna use the grid lines for it. So C L uh, C U nine c and c9 and point number three i'm gonna just go uh, across here and gonna be c1 uh, c and it was i think so that's uh, that's the thing guys and you can see here the scale is completely different of this drawing that's why aligning of these three points is going to bring us the, the the information we need actually so that was the first point on that one uh that was the second point and the point number three gonna be this one in here so that's number three and i'm gonna press okay here and we're gonna see how we're looking with the penetrations for our level four slab. So guys, uh, we'll see how we look in here. We can see straight, straight away something is wrong here. I would just need to compare if this is, uh, actually it looks okay. Drawings are overlaid correctly here. So there's nothing wrong from our side to bring in the drawings, but you can see here the penetrations are completely different and uh, it's, it doesn't make sense really. You can see we got a bat bathroom here, so there's gonna be one pipe going here. So this is actually okay, but we are missing uh, the penetration here on the structural drawing. And we got the penetration here in the middle of the entrance to the flat so what we're going to do guys in the next video uh, i'm going to show you how to raise an rfi for it uh, and i'm going to show you how typically you're going to be raising rfi when you're going to be looking for information and when you're going to find any discrepancy how to raise it in the nice in, in the nice way in the nice manner so uh, i think that will be all in today's video guys uh, just uh, please don't forget to leave the thumbs up if you got any questions leave the comments below and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you didn't do it yet as this is helping to grow our community so we can help each other so thank you again and see you next time